15 Things You Didn't Know About Jeep Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about the car brand that started as a military vehicle but is now one of the most successful car brands in the world. Let's talk about Jeep. On July 16, 1941, an Ohio company called Willis Overland Motor Company received a contract to build four-wheel drive reconnaissance vehicles for the U.S. military to use in World War II. The vehicle was called the Willis MB and then became known as the Jeep, although nobody can confirm exactly where the name came from. The Jeep was instrumental in helping the Allies win the war, and it was also used as an ambulance on battlefields. After the war, Willis modified the MB and created the first Jeep available to the public, which was called the Willis CJ-2A. The CJ stands for Civilian Jeep. Willis created a number of innovative Jeep designs, including the 1946 Willis Station Wagon and the 1963 Wagoneer SUV that helped boost the popularity of the brand. In 1963, Willis Overland was purchased by the Kaiser Manufacturing Company, and it was renamed the Kaiser Jeep Corporation. Six years later, they were purchased by the American Motor Company, and the Jeep Cherokee, one of the most popular Jeeps in their history, was introduced. In 1987, Chrysler Corp acquired Jeep, and it's now owned by Fiat Chrysler, which also owns the auto brands Dodge, Alfa Romeo, Maserati, and of course, Fiat and Chrysler. The Jeep brand has brought us numerous successful models over its 75-year history, and current models include the Grand Cherokee, Renegade, Wrangler JK, Compass, and Patriot. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We're inspired by Jeep's long history of success, innovative spirit, resilience, originality, and dedication to quality. So, let's take a closer look at this incredibly successful brand with the 15 things you didn't know about Jeep. Number 1. The original Jeep was designed in two days When it became clear that the United States was going to enter World War II, the U.S. Army contacted 135 companies looking for working prototypes of a four-wheel drive reconnaissance car, but only two companies responded, the American Bantam Car Company and Willis Overland. They were given 45 days to supply a working prototype. The bankrupt American Bentham Car Company recruited a freelance designer named Carl Probst, who worked with no salary. He designed the entire reconnaissance car that would become the Jeep in just two days. Although the Army liked Bantam's prototype, they didn't think the company could handle the production needed, so they gave their design to Willis Overland, who got to work making 4,500 of the reconnaissance vehicles. Number 2. The Jeep 4x4 was driven up the steps of the U.S. Capitol in its first public outing. In 1941, Willis Overland took their brand new 4x4 military transport vehicle to Washington, D.C. and had a senator named James Meade drive the vehicle along with four passengers directly up the 365 steps of the U.S. Capitol building. Once at the top, Meade turned around and drove the vehicle right back down the steps without a hitch, while a large number of press photographers and government officials looked on in awe. From that point, there was no question that Willis Overland had secured a massive military contract. Number 3. Hummer and Jeep were in a legal battle about their grills The Chrysler Group sued General Motors to stop it from using the seven vertical slot design on their H2 grills because they claimed it was too similar to the Jeep grill design which also features seven slots. In 2002, the 7th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that the Hummer H2 does not infringe on the Jeep trademark. The court claimed that Daimler Chrysler waited too long to file an objection to the H2 grille design, and it couldn't prove consumer confusion between the grille designs on the two vehicles. Number 4. Jeeps were used for the longest off-road trek in history the Expedición de las Américas was the longest off-road trek in history. An expedition led by off-road expert Mark Smith traveled from one of the lowest points in South America, Tierra del Fuego, Chile, to one of the highest points in North America, Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, in 1978. A total of 14 drivers successfully drove 21,000 miles in six Jeeps over 122 days through some of the world's most unwelcoming terrain. Number 5. Jeep's company manufactured over 360,000 cars for World War II 
Willis Overland was initially given an order for 1,500 military vehicles, but by the end of World War II, it had manufactured 361,400 vehicles for the war effort. The only other American company to come close to that number is Ford, which produced 277,900 vehicles for the war effort. Number 6. There's an annual Easter Jeep Safari in Utah. Every April, thousands of excited Jeep owners make the trip to Moab, Utah, the ultimate off-road destination for the annual Easter Jeep Safari. Jeep brand designers and engineers are also in attendance to meet with some of their brand's biggest fans and introduce new vehicles and concepts on the rugged trails of Utah. Several concept vehicles were introduced at the Safari in 2017, including the Jeep Quicksand, the Jeep Safari, the Jeep Grand One, the Jeep Trail Pass, and the Jeep Switchback. Number 7. Kevin Hart's Friends Bought Him a Jeep Wrangler After comedian Kevin Hart filmed his comedy special called Kevin Hart What Now in Philadelphia back in 2015, his friends, also known as the Plastic Cup Boys, surprised him with a brand new customized Jeep Wrangler. Kevin calls the car his What Now Jeep Wrangler, and on Instagram he posted a picture of the all-black vehicle, mentioning that he added a sidestep to get in easier. Kevin owns a number of other cars, including a 1966 Pontiac GTO and a 2016 BMW i8. Number 8. Fiat Chrysler was sued after a Jeep killed a Hollywood actor Fiat Chrysler recalled over 1 million Jeep Grand Cherokees in 2016 because the gear shift was confusing to some drivers, causing some vehicles to roll away unexpectedly when the drivers thought they had put them into park. This has led to dozens of injuries, including the death of a Hollywood actor named Anton Yelchin, who was best known for his role in the three most recent Star Trek films, and his roles in other movies, including Charlie Bartlett, The Smurfs, and Terminator Salvation. Yelchin was killed when his Jeep Cherokee rolled back after he assumed it was in park and pinned him against a brick pillar in his driveway. His parents filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Fiat Chrysler, and the suit is still pending. Number 9. The Jeep Hurricane concept is valued at $2 million The Jeep Hurricane is a bespoke custom concept vehicle that was built in 2005 and introduced at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan. It has a one-piece body made out of carbon fiber, no side doors or roof, seating for only two people, and a patented four-wheel steering system that allows the car to move sideways. Unfortunately, this car is not expected to go into production due to the very high cost of the drivetrain and the entire car's value being $2 million. Number 10. LeBron James's Custom Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Failed to Sell at Auction a 2010 Gold Custom Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, formerly owned by LeBron James, was auctioned off in 2014. The Jeep originally cost $33,000, and LeBron put more than $30,000 into the car in upgrades and customizations. The car has the King James logo of a lion's head, wearing a crown embroidered on the seats and headrests of the orange and black interior. The logo also appears in the center of the custom wheels. It was put up for auction with a starting bid of $50,000, with only 3,200 miles on the odometer, but apparently no one was willing to pay that price. The car failed to meet the minimum of 50 k and was kept by its current owner, who is not LeBron James. But if you'd like to learn some more interesting facts about the basketball star, click in the upper right-hand corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about LeBron James. Number 11. The Jeep Luminator Concept was announced in 2017 The Jeep Luminator Concept was designed to give the ultimate in off-trail lighting to promote safety and unparalleled visibility in an off-road vehicle. The Luminator has LED projector headlamps, A-pillars, LED spotlights, and underbody rock lights, in addition to a scanning LED bar on the hood with dynamic following technology to allow for spotlighting to avoid wildlife or hazards. The center high mount stoplight acts as a scouting or trail lamp with four color LEDs to indicate speed on the trail. There's also a roof mounted solar panel, a drone landing pad, and a lighted drone that comes with this 2017 concept vehicle. Number 12. 4x4 Day is celebrated April 4th every year. April 4th, which is the fourth day of the fourth month, has been designated by the Jeep brand as 4x4 Day, a day to remind us that every day was meant for adventure. The Jeep brand founded this holiday back in 2016 and intends to make it a celebration every year. 
Number 13. The largest Jeep parade included 2,420 vehicles. A Guinness World Record was set for the largest Jeep parade when 2,420 Jeeps congregated at the Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival in Butler, Pennsylvania back in 2015. The cars paraded along a three-mile route to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Bantam Jeep. Number 14. Their celebrity ambassador is English equestrian William Fox Pitt. For the past six years, Jeep's official celebrity ambassador has been the world and European champion equestrian William Fox Pitt. As one of the top equestrians in the world, Fox Pitt has won over 20 medals, including three Olympic medals, and he is currently training for the 2020 Tokyo Games. This world-class British athlete currently drives a Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. Number 15. The ZJ Grand Cherokee was introduced by being driven through a window. The original 1993 Jeep Grand Cherokee ZJ was first introduced to the public at the 1992 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan. Chrysler wanted all the eyes to be on their newest model, so they staged a stunt to capture the attention of journalists and car enthusiasts at the show. A police escort led the brand new ZJ Grand Cherokee from the assembly plant that was located nearby. The ZJ then made its grand entrance by driving up the stairs of a building at the show and crashing through a plate glass window in front of a crowd of impressed onlookers. The stunt was such a hit, they repeated it with a few other models at future car shows. Now that you've learned more about Jeep, we'd like to know, do you own or want to own one of their popular cars? Let us know in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. 1.4 million Jeeps were sold worldwide in 2016, which is a 13% increase from 2015. Jeep is on track to make up half of Fiat Chrysler's total sales by 2018. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.